All right, hey everyone, Wanderbot here, and welcome back to Card City Nights 2. So we've got a... Whoa, who are you? Hey there, how about some extra dimensional card sleeves? I doubt a commoner like you would recognize me, but I'm actually an emperor from another dimension. My, uh, people overthrew me for some reason. So, yeah, here I am, trying to get a better... Better at the card game, so I can defeat the dread Dark Lord Master Skeleton, who led the revolution and stole my throne. I'm looking for some real powerful opponents here, you dig? I'll even give you a unique set of sleeves from uh, my extra dimensional empire if you win, yeah? Alright, so that's a new thing. Uh, oh, the vending machine has moved. Okay, well, we're gonna put her on hold for a bit, because apparently that's a thing. Anyway, so the vending machine is apparently one of the A-class people. Anyway, I resold all of my cards. Uh, let's stop for a second. Uh, I, I sold all of my spares, because I had quite a lot at this point. So, we need a, we still need a Legendary from Fluffy. I thought I got the last Legendary from Fluffy. No, I guess I didn't. Okay, well we could buy a bunch of Fluffy packs for a little while. Yeah, sure, let's do it. It's the cheapest, we'll, we'll go up the list. Yeah, apparently you can actually cheese it uh, and quit out of the game before before you hit that that thumbs up, and potentially you can get the uh, you can uh, just keep reloading into the game over and over and over again until you get what you need. But it's not really worth it. Also, apparently uh, you get enough cards from the fluffy booster pack, especially. Apparently, you can actually make money by by reselling the cards, which is really silly, actually. And I almost feel bad about that. Almost, not really. But it just, it feels so dirty. Uh, let's see, so this is gonna, this is gonna take a little while. Hopefully we find it. If we don't find it, I mean, it's not the end of the world. I'll just resell all of the spares or I'll go get it off camera. I might just go get uh, the remaining cards off camera. Uh, so we don't have to just see me selling and reselling cards over and over and over again. Because that's not really fun. There it is, Ultra Fish Bun 3000. Oh, we already had that. Maybe? I don't know. Anyway, non-conductive, deal for... Uh, resolve, deal for damage. When active and you play a common card, tick this card. Huh. Alright, so there's one. Anyway, we should probably... I'm gonna just double check my collection. Okay, so we've got 100% of Fluffy. We need two rares from Sweet and three Legendaries from Fancies. That's not actually half bad. The rares should be easy. Should be. Emphasis. It'd be really nice if I could actually tick... Like, it'd be really nice if there was a, a little buy another button in the corner. I'd, I'd really appreciate that, actually. Oh, wait. Hedvig. Activate an opponent card. Resolve. Activate one of your cards. Invades people's minds to seal their powers. Hopes to one day surpass her brother. Me. So, I believe it's just one more rare. And then all we have to do is buy fancy booster packs. And then we're all done. I like this game a lot. I think I still liked the first one better. I think it had more... Same amount of character. Uh, I think it just felt more natural. This this feels very... Um, gated, maybe would be the right word. Ah, there we are. Skull card. Placement, take two damage. Resolve, remove a card. Only the most powerful side card players know how exactly, or know exactly where these cards are hidden. Huh. Alright. And then, just nine fancy booster packs. If we're lucky, we can find those, those legendaries. If we're not lucky, well, I'll get them later. But I should probably have a whole mess of, uh, spare cards that I can resell here. Oh, there's one. Hextrot. Resolve... Deal a damage for every mana token you have. Yeah, we might actually be able to hundo my entire, uh, the entire collection. Or the entire, uh, the entire game's worth of cards? I don't know. If I remember right in the previous one, you could actually buy specific cards. I kind of missed that. I don't know, It's it's been years. I played that back in, apparently, 2014 on launch, obviously. Um... And it was one of my favorite series at the time, but I just... I have no recollections of that. That was, like, almost four years ago now. Oi. Time flies. Alright. 
Anyway, uh, so now that I've done that, we haven't gotten any cards that, like, really... Oops, wrong one. Uh, we haven't gotten any cards that really, like, make a difference here. So let's go deal with her. This place is pretty big. I'll just stay here, where all the tasty food is. Battle. Want to give this a try? Won't be easy. And all you'll win is a set of card sleeves. Deal? Sure. <laughs> just sign right here and let the battle begin. Okay, let's edit this deck for a second. I had something useless in here. Actually... I don't remember what it was. I mean, I guess there's Tosca. Tosca could probably get removed. Oh, it's the Jenny Bunny X. We don't want the Jenny Bunny X. Let's just add another Jenny Bird X. We know how to work it now. As long as it doesn't end up in the bottom right corner, we won't screw ourselves. Okay. So we can do uh, Passel and the Jealous uh, Chest right off the bat. Oh, this looks like this is going to be a really solid fight. Oh, interesting. We might have the... Um... Let's see. Well, we might as well put up a shield, because we're about to take some damage. And then let's do... Tosca. Yeah, Ultra Fishbun 3000 is going to be a bit of a pain. Actually, do we wait? Let's wait for a little while. Let's just start chucking some birds at them. I'll hold on to the other Jenny bird just in case. Okay. Yeah, a lot of brick apocalypses in here. It's a very long con deck. If I had a cage deck, this actually would be pretty powerful. I'm gonna hold on to the nether bird. Let's just do uh, regular birds. I, I kind of want to pass time while we wait for the jealous chests. To roll in here. Okay. Now we probably want to get that Tosca X down. Okay. Yeah, because we need... We need to worry about our, our HP. Luckily, we can put Jenny Bird X down, which gets turned into a bird arrow, and I get a shield. So that'll tick... Ah, shit. Okay, that didn't, that didn't work as well as I wanted it to, but we're still very much in line to do good things here. In fact, between the nether birds, we win. Those brick apocalypses are rough. And we win. Well, best two out of three. So we gotta wait a little bit longer, but we're good. Oh, those are cool card sleeves that I assume we get in the end. Okay, what do we do next? Not a whole heck of a lot of stuff, which sucks. I guess I could put down Rainbow Ring. And Tosca X. It's a little premature, but we've already got the Jenny Bird, which is exactly what we needed. I just needed some way of uh, hoarding it for a second. Oh. So, I'm actually going to portal world the Tosca X back into my, my inventory here. I'm going to put another one down. Okay. So if I put the bird arrow down, it does not actually activate portal world, unfortunately. But that's okay. Yeah, so we're not in as healthy of a position this time around, but that's okay. Because I more or less just keep shielding myself here. <sighs> the problem is those brick apocalypses are extraordinarily painful. Well, I'll just put Tosca X down again. We're just gonna shield as hard as we can. I guess I could have waited on the Tosca X. 
Yeah, we don't have the uh, we don't have power token this time around, so my damage my damage potential is much more um, standard. Luckily, it's kind of reliable. Okay, well we don't take as much. Jesus. Well, I got nothing but birds, so bird arrow it is. Okay. I'll save my butt for a little while longer. Okay, so we can roll. That gives me a bubble. There's Jealous Chest. Okay. Can't do anything with that. Gonna put Ice Ring down and cage the blueprint. So I take two damage, but that's okay. Because I can roll again. Actually spamming their deck up a little bit with, uh, with birds. God damn it. Resolve, deal two damage, take one. I didn't realize I'd mess him up nearly as bad with my whole bird nonsense. It's kind of magic. Okay, so let's put down another bird. Yeah, we got this. We got this in the bag. It was scary there for a second, but the hand switch actually saved my ass. Thank you, bird deck. And we get this one. Dang it, I guess my deck wasn't that good after all. So, uh, there's no way I can just go back to my home dimension now. If I don't even have the best deck on the ship, how am I supposed to defeat the Dark Dreadlord Master Skeleton? Wait a minute, you got a science lab here? I bet it's super primitive, but even you guys should be able to discover some new booster packs from time to time. I'll just wait around until that happens, okay? It's not like I've got anything better to do in this dump. I mean, this wonderful space station, starship, whatever. Okay, let's go get a tournament done. Bird deck! Vending machine. Time to play all of my cards. It'd be hilarious if vending machine was like the only one that didn't follow the rules and their deck was infinite. But that's okay. Alright. We're already up to some pretty good shenanigans here, so we get the Jenny Bird. And a bazooka turnip. Okay. Do you care too much about Tosca X? Not overwhelmingly. I'll just start putting down nether birds. Yeah, I like I like Jealous Chest, but I need an active way uh I, I need a way to activate it. Unfortunately I'm a little bit limited on that, but that's okay. I'm not entirely sure if vending machine is particularly useful. Well, I'll just roll. We're still kind of biding our time, hoping I can get uh, key X or something in here. But, I mean, even if I don't, oh well. Uh, do we roll? Yeah, I'll roll again. I'm just trying to mitigate what little damage we do take. So, it almost looks like he's a... Uh, he's built to... Uh, work off of me, which is interesting. Oh, Spike X is piercing damage. Wait, aren't you? Oh, no, Spike X is considered common. I didn't even consider that. Oh, should not have put roll down, now that I'm thinking about it. That sucks. Okay, well, Mecha Santa is kind of pointless there. I'm going to put down Tosca X. And there's Key X. Okay. It's a little premature. Maybe? 
Maybe it doesn't matter that much. It might be a little late for the jealous chess. I, I, I might have been in a better position to just chuck bird arrows at things. Oh well. And I'll activate the uh, Mecha Santa X, which really, I don't like the Mecha Santa X that much, but I gotta get it out of here. I was hoping I could get it out of here. Unfortunately, he's a jerk. Okay, we got more Ginny birds, but let's just keep chucking birds here. I'll have that jealous chest done in a second. Not much I can do for a moment. I'm actually, I'm gonna lose this one. Yeah, we didn't get the jealous chest out soon enough. And the Mecha Santas played really hard into us. Let's try that again. Maybe? I don't even know if we get to. I win everything, I defeat everyone. Attention, card game enthusiasts. The Starship computer declares the match between what? No, 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 no. And vending machine invalid due to electronic interference. What? No, 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 no. Vending machine, newsy cat, and some loser not relevant to this conversation. Please replay your tournament matches. What? This can't be. Meh. It's not like we can overturn a decision like that. Let's just replay our matches. I see. Time to play again. Sure. Yeah, the freaking... Mecha Santa axes are rough, but not much I can do about it. Do I put? Let's put down Rainbow Ring. And I'm just gonna roll. Might as well get another roll. Got nothing better to do with it anyway. Okay, I'll just put down another bird. It'll just sit. We're biding our time. Shit, what do we even do with half this? I'm sorry. This is kind of awkward. Because yeah, I'm waiting for my uh, waiting for my combo to show up, and it's not there. Okay, well, there's Tosca Axe, but that's not what I'm looking for. And we really don't want to put down the bird cards. I'll just put down Tosca Axe. Okay, any way that I can get this to hook up to anything? The answer is no. Come on. There it is. Okay, so I don't have any more shields. Which is a bit suck. And yeah, we're not getting the the jealous chest out nearly fast enough. This almost would be better. Oh, Cyber Jenny is kind of a pain. Ouch. She activated it. Uh, I'm just gonna make sure all of my cards are in useless positions. Part of it is um, she's specifically okay. I think we've got this one. She's specifically using uh my own ports. She. It, it, is using my own ports against me. And the Mecha Santa X deck is actually, well, it's not really that big of a deal. It's kind of a pain, though. Anyway, 15 credits. Oh no, the bitter taste of defeat. I should add it to my menu. We're up next, Chew Toy. I heard you've been climbing the ranks super fast, so I want to see how good you are, really are. I guess I really don't have a choice on this one, but that's fine. I like it how she has, like, an emo fish bun man as her, uh, as her shirt. All right. Now let's get that Jenny bird down. It'd be great if it worked on uh, both. So is it a healer deck? I don't know. 
I'll put down the bazooka turnip. We're still kind of trying to bide our time. Helios is a pain in the ass. Oh, let's see. Well, I can put down the nether bird. I guess I should have made sure to lock it off. Well, it's okay. Yeah, it's a semi Healy deck. Which is kind of an annoyance. And none of my cards last long enough to really make much of a combo here. Well, they do have another bird in there. So I guess there's really no reason why I should have locked that off. It's weird that I'm more or less just playing a bird deck. I'm playing against a bird deck here. Except for it's like an inferior bird deck. That's fine. It's like an inferior bird deck. I'm gonna hold on to the Jenny bird just in case. Let's just start rolling, rolling birds here. The problem is they add bird cards to the top of my deck, so it kind of delays me being able to get anything new. Oh, that's okay. Oh, well. Screw you, Helios. I don't even need, I, I don't need to worry about you now. Yeah, I'm up. A, I'm also up against a bird deck, but it doesn't have the. Uh, it doesn't say, have the same effects. It doesn't have any of the effects. There's no Jenny Bird in there. It's just it, it's self spamming, I guess. I'm curious how many of these decks uh, the developers came up with. I mean, I guess the Jenny Bird thing makes it pretty dang obvious that like a bird, a bird deck is viable. I'd love for Card City Knights three, if and when it comes out, I would love to see some more like kind of thematic decks like this. That you know, a bunch of like weird linchpins and stuff. That'd be cool. Aw, oh, man, I guess you win this one. Well, time to haul this guy back to the shopping mall. Smell you later. What an exciting adventure this was. We... Excuse me? What? No, no, no. Oh, thank goodness I found you. We're supposed to play each other for the in the quarterfinals. Hey, there. Looks like we both won our first two matches. I guess we'll be facing off soon. Assuming you can beat Aaron, boy. He's pretty dang good, though. Oh, gosh, you flattered me. <laughs> mm. She's looking my way. All right, well, let's keep going. Jeez, the tournament matches make me so nervous. Bird deck makes me happy. I love it how I'm just the atomic carrot wizard or something. I don't know. That's what I wanted to hear. See? All right, let's get Key X down. Yeah, if I can get that jealous chest right off the bat. And Jenny Bird. Oh, this looks like a really solid... Uh, Roll and we might be up against a uh, a cage deck. Interestingly enough, wait, delay an active card. They delayed key X of all of them. Oh, in retrospect, that is a bit scary because key X does make it so I can't use half my cards. Well, because yeah, I can't put down Jenny Bird. That would that would screw me over real bad. Okay, I'll just put down a bird arrow. Ooh. Gunnel vision is really scary, I just realized. That's a problem. Let's get Jenny Bird down. And then Tosca X. So this is a wand deck we're up against. This is a this is one of those themic uh, thematic decks that this is one of those thematic decks that we've seen, but kind of ignored. Imagine that with a a power a power token. Now that'd be a problem. Luckily, we don't have to worry about it. But it could be an issue. Okay, so we don't need Pastel at this point. We do a ton of damage. 
Had I been thinking, I would have tried to activate uh, Gunnel Vision before it went. Uh, unfortunately, I don't have a way of dealing with it. I'm sorry. What? Well, that's okay. We've got we've got birds aplenty to to save my ass well before uh, she's gonna hurt hurt me. Sort of. When active and a card is played, cage it. It's not a problem for me. This is this is a very hard to counter deck. Pretty much you just have to out DPS it. Which could be a problem. Anyway, two HP left. I was really hoping we get another one of those what are they? Netherbirds? Netherbirds. Because yeah, if we could get another netherbird, we'd be beautiful. Ah. Uh, Gain a mana token. I really wish I knew exactly what mana tokens did. Deal damage for every two mana tokens you have. I don't know. We're fine. Shop at Etans. Add a portal wand to your deck and add an ice wand to your deck and a force wand to your deck. Okay. Well, it didn't matter. We win. Oh, I lost, but I'm a big boy. I won't cry. Hey, we're up. You ready for the semifinals? I'm just gonna keep chucking bird deck at this. I mean, it it more or less cuts through people really fast. It doesn't have to worry about too many combos. The only problem that kind of can screw me is is if my combos get messed up. Now, assuming we find Jenny Bird somewhere in there, we'll be okay. Okay, so what's the next one? I guess we could do Bazooka Turnip. Yeah, let's do Bazooka, Bazooka Turnip. Gives me a shield. And gets that giant sucker out of here. And there's the Jenny Bird on cue. Oh. EG. Placement gains a shield. You gain a shield. Interesting. Okay, so we want to hold off on doing anything for a moment. Okay, so there's the power icon. Well, let's start doing damage. We don't need the extra shields. I should have held off on Tosuke X just a little bit, but that's okay. Okay. I mean, we got roll. We got rainbow ring. We've got birds. No, we don't want to do that. Uh, I could do... Let's do rainbow ring. Might as well... Uh, oh, that's piercing damage. Shit. I'm just gonna roll a couple of times here. Okay. That's probably all the damage they're going to do for at least a little while. I don't know the point of Life Preserver X. Kinda wish I did, but that's okay. Ah. That's the point. Oh, it's okay. There's still Skull King, and I can roll right before... Skull King pops. There we go. Okay. Opponent gains a shield. Oh, nope. They gain a shield. Pain in the ass. Okay, we're gonna have to roll a third time. This is a toughie. Hey, we'll be okay. Because they can't, they can't have that many more combat moves. They can. Okay, we'll put put down the birds. Got a lot of piercing damage. Well, I'm just gonna rely on my bird arrow going before theirs does. Which it will. And we win. Ooh, that was a little close, actually. She was she was a actually hard opponent. Uh, good game. Attention card game enthusiasts, the finalists of the surprise card game tournament are the undefeated and what? No, 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 no. Let's wish them both good luck. Congratulations on making the finals. Your deck is pretty good. Me, I have to get back to the fast food restaurant. Those fish bun parts won't hop into the fryer by themselves, usually. Oh, this is it. If I win this match, I'll be, I'll finally be top tier. Then I can find out what's happened to the captain. Not to mention getting the, that incredible reward, and maybe I can stop thinking to myself all the time. 
All right, but either way, we will be doing that on the next episode of Card City Nights 2. So I'll see you guys then, and as always, thanks for watching.